Welcome to Virtual Vacations, a Smarter Travel Media Podcast. On this episode, we invite you to close your eyes, leave your bags unpacked, and join us on a hike through Zion National Park. Before we begin, take a few moments to separate yourself from what you were doing before. Make sure you're resting somewhere comfortable and then take a few slow, deep breaths. Bring awareness into the different parts of the breath. The slow, deep inhale and the long, steady exhale. As you exhale, let your shoulders relax. Repeat this gentle, focused breathing for as long as you would like. When you're ready, we'll be heading to one of the most famous national parks in the United States. Welcome to Zion National Park. You've made the journey on a road trip through the Red Rock Canyons and long winding roads throughout Southern Utah. Everywhere you turn your head, red rocks like towers reach toward the sky. You're here in early spring, when the snow-capped peaks slowly start to melt. Rain falls, trees are green, rivers flow full, and the park is sprinkled with ephemeral waterfalls that can disappear as quickly as they came. A friendly park ranger greets you as you pass through the visitor center and hop onto an uncrowded shuttle bus. You open the window and are met with a brisk wave of fresh air, so crisp you can almost taste the pine sap. As you slowly make your way through Zion Canyon, you recognize one of its famous rock formations, Angel's Landing. You marvel at its swooping top and steep sides and look a little closer to see its sedimentary layers and slick rock walls. A light dusting of snow appears as low clouds cover its crown. In this season between deep winter and true spring, you're seeing a side of Zion that not many get to see. You take a moment to feel grateful, for even though it's chilly, it's also perfectly serene. Narrow streams of tumbling water form waterfalls along the red rocks. You get off the bus at the last stop, the Temple of Sinawava, and approach the Riverside Walk, which follows the twists and turns of the Virgin River along the base of a narrow canyon. You don't go far before spotting an astounding waterfall. You stop and just stand and revel in the sound of crashing water the sight of the rolling water, and the feeling of the fine mist sprinkling your face. You look up to see the source of the waterfall and discover it's so high up that it's above where your camera can frame. You look around to notice the grooves that this powerful source formed in the canyon walls surrounding you. The waterfall seems so peaceful, but you can see signs of its strength in the way it has carved the rock over time. You know that you'll return again to see the version of Zion that most visitors see. The bright sky and vivid desert of summer, but for now, you cherish the chance to see this snow-kissed version of nature. After all, Zion means pure of heart or sanctuary, and nothing feels more like a sanctuary than this almost empty park whose red rocks are temporarily, briefly, adorned by snow and waterfalls.
feel free to continue exploring the national park in your mind, or to slowly return from the trip and rejoin your regularly scheduled day. Thanks for traveling with us. We'll see you again soon. Virtual Vacations is a Smarter Travel Media podcast. This episode was written by Ashley Rossi, Senior Editor at SmarterTravel.com, and produced by Carol McPherson with Executive Producer Heath Alba. Virtual Vacations is also available, complete with meditative visuals, on YouTube at www.youtube.com slash smartertravel. This episode was sponsored by Jet Setter the stylish traveler's ultimate muse, and an inside source for everything you need to live a jet-setting lifestyle. To learn more, visit them online at www.jetsetter.com or find them on YouTube at Jetsetter.